Welcome back. We are here with 11th of March Godly Blessing. Now, how do we become spiritually intoxicated so much so that any kind of trouble, any kind of mishappening or any kind of misgiving, not of God but of our own karmas, is faced with peace and with complete power. So let's understand what exactly has God here to say. Supreme Father says, May you be an embodiment of all attainments. Attainments, these are spiritual attainments, not physical attainments. Because physical attainments are there for a certain period of time and if something is lost in that physical attainment, then people who are attached to those attainments feel sorrow. And finish all name and trace of sorrow and peacelessness with spiritual intoxication. To have spiritual intoxication means to see souls instead of seeing physical bodies. That means to see souls, to see their mind, their intellect and their habits. And that's how you recognize people. Or you recognize souls, not through the physicality. Remove all the outer covers of religion and creed and different ethnicities or even caste and even gender and understand the soul. And to be soul conscious while walking and moving around. By having this intoxication you experience having all attainments. What attainments? That means you can see things through your sixth sense instead of trying to find out things through your five senses. Souls who are embodiments of all attainments and have spiritual intoxication have all their sorrow removed. That means they are able to see things through and they are not getting stuck in physical aspects of things moving around whether it's in loss or profit, whether it's in, it's in victory or defeat on a physical basis. There is then no name or trace of sorrow or peacelessness. Because sorrow and peacelessness arise when there is impurity. Whenever we look at somebody on their relation to us in a physical world, father, mother, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, or etc. etc. and we see them through the basis of boss or subordinate, then some form of ego or some form of let's say low esteem comes in or, or subordination comes in and that's an impure feeling. We are all equal. Remember the title of Holy? God said we are all equal souls. So when we look at everybody on a soul conscious basis, only then do we feel equal. Then God says there is no name or trace of sorrow or peacelessness because sorrow and peacelessness arise when there is impurity. You understand impurity? When there is no impurity, where could sorrow or peacelessness come from? You'll be able to see things through, see people through and understand their agenda, understand their feelings, understand their different aspects. Pure souls automatically have happiness and peace because they don't see anything impure. They don't see somebody's greed as greed. They see somebody's greed as a method of understanding that they actually need spiritual love. They actually need spiritual understanding and then we work through understanding on an understanding basis on a soul conscious basis otherwise we will have to use impure means like ego like uh, discernment like bossiness um, like showing that i'm the master and when we use all these aspects that's impurity and it actually gives us peace lessons because we move away from the center of who we are to some other center of who we not belong to or where we don't belong to or who we actually are not. So we are living a dual life of ego, greed, anger, jealousy, actually, and the real life is this, which we're supposed to be in purity. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You too can come and learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti with this.